respected judges faculties and my dear friends a very good afternoon to you all the topic for my today's session is a case of endogenous and endophthalmitis masquerading as bacchus disease a diagnostic dilemma a 24 year male attended the outpatient department with chief complaints of redness and dimness of vision in the right eye since last 10 days with mucosal lesions over the hard palate inner surface of the lips and over the glans penis there was a history of long standing pain of the knee The vision in the right eye was hand movement close to face with intact projection of the rays in the left eye it was 66 the adenexa was normal the anterior segment showed circumciliary congestion 2 plus cells and flare in the anterior chamber there was pigment dispersion over the lens the iop by goldman aplanation was 12 mm of hg the angles were open on gonioscopy on fundus examination there is a pale uh, yellowish glow of the fundus these are the vitreous bands which were found in the anterior and the mid uh, mid vitreous uh, there was grade 4 media haze with no view of the fundus details the optic disc blood vessels uh, and blood vessels were not visible the left eye had uh, normal findings on systemic e examination there were multiple painless ulcers which were present on the hard palate which were present on the inner surface of the lips and the glans penis they, these were present since last 6 days Uh, USG B scan was performed. It shows a uh, dense vitreous in the central and the posterior vitreous. No evidence of posterior vitreous detachment. Blood investigation revealed eosinophilia. The other blood investigations done were within normal limits. So on this grounds, a multi-departmental consultation was done, and a diagnosis of Bacchus disease was made. The patient was initially started on oral and topical steroids. and um cycloplegic but the patient became febrile on the second day of treatment and the blood work showed marginally raised wbc count with eosinophilia the steroids were withheld and uh, blood culture was performed which showed the presence of sphingomonas possimobilis which is a rare organism the repeat urine culture was sterile but the usg qub uh, done showed presence of free floating membranes in the urinary bladder which was suggestive of subclinical subacute cystitis There was a revised diagnosis of endogenous end of in this patient with the principal focus of infection was cystitis. Drug uh, reaction to the NSAIDs prescribed for the musculoskeletal pain of the knee led to the painless aftus ulcers. The patient was given an intravital injection of ceftazidine, vancomycin and uh, dexamethasone. The vitreous strap yielded dry. The um, patient was also started on systemic fluoroquinolones and tinidazole. as per culture sensitivity topical steroids and other supportive medications were also started the patient was also started on systemic steroids after 5 days of the oral medications when he was relieved of his systemic symptoms of fever this treatment yielded favorable results with the patient gaining a vision of 624 in the right eye after 3 weeks at 5 weeks the vision was 618 as you can see the the vitreous haze is now 2 plus you can see the optic discs blood vessels can be faintly seen there is no evidence of vascular sheathing vascular or uh, vasculitis no ct angiography also showed no vasculitis changes in the right eye the take home message is bacchus and endof have a similar clinical profile making it a difficult clinical diagnosis endophthalmitis is an ophthalmologic emergency which requires prompt diagnosis and diagnosis and management for better outcomes failure to do so can lead to vision threatening complications which can eventually require evisceration endogenous endophthalmitis having no specific clinical feature no diagnostic laboratory test is often missed on initial examination and it, and it becomes all the more important for an ophthalmologist to keep endogenous endophthalmitis as a probable diagnosis in a case of panuvitis in an immunocompetent young patient even with no active systemic disease or complaints thank you